when the sun sets on Seattle, an ordinary citizen becomes a dark knight known as Phoenix Jones. A costumed crime fighter armed with only a can of pepper spray and reckless abandon, patrolling the Emerald City in search of civilian villains. Kelly's Court first. Why are you wearing that costume? <laughs> my super suit it's uh it's bulletproof it's, it's stab resistant it really? uh, gives me a, you know i guess i thought it was pretty shoe resistant uh, <laughs> gives me a little bit of extra comfort <laughs> but, when but i'm on why? the why why do you wear the costume why do you do this as a superhero um i think you have to draw attention to the fact that crime's not okay and that uh there's people running around who are just out of control and the only way to really to draw well the only way i can think of to draw attention to the fact and not look like i was going to do something bad you know with like a ski mask and all bulletproof gear i took the uh i took an image that meant something to me and I took the image of a superhero and uh, made it my own and went out there and stopped crime. I love that you got into this because something bad happened to your son. You're 23 years old, something bad happened to your son and you said I I'm going to teach people uh, in your words that uh, the average person doesn't have to walk around and see bad things and do nothing. Criminal defense attorney Joey Jackson awesome. and former prosecutor John Spillborn. All right, get rid of me. They don't want to see me. Put Phoenix in here. Okay. <laughs> well, I want Phoenix in our panel. Joey, let me ask you, as you somebody who, who has uh, handled many criminal cases, how, what do you think? Did the DA, is the, should the DA, who is considering charging Phoenix with assault for the pepper spray, should he go ahead and do it? Well, here's the problem. And listen, Phoenix, I love what you do. I think you're a courageous man, and we want to see you around for a long time. And it's for that reason that you have to stop doing it. I think the DA has a couple of problems here. Number one is that it's a deterrent effect. And what the prosecution wants to do, look, you don't have adequate equipment to do it. There's a training issue, and there's a, the fact that there's not legal authority to do it. Furthermore, whenever you inject yourself into an issue, there's always the problem that could get worse. And that is people can misconstrue intentions. People, it can escalate the situation. And it's for that reason wow. that the DA has to take a stand. Now, I'm not saying what there should be life joy. in prison without <laughs> parole, but at the same time, there needs to be some type of uh, assessment done by the DA so that other copycats don't right. come out here and we have a lawless society. I'm gonna let Joey obviously hasn't represented as many superheroes as I have, <laughs> for starters. Number one, you know, but our superhero said it best, crime is not okay. And when he takes to the streets dressed like that, it's no different than when a guardian angel puts on a red beret and we all know what they're there for, to help stamp out crime or to be there if something were to happen. I say it's A-okay. Yes. Mace isn't going to kill anybody and he didn't use it <laughs> unnecessarily. Jo Joey Jackson, I will give you the opportunity to ask our crime fighter one question. Cross-examination. Now, Phoenix, sir, we respect what you do, but would you agree with me when you interject yourself into a situation, it can escalate. There are ways that you can serve your community, is that right, sir? But maybe serving it by doing, running for Congress, being in the military, joining the police force, but being a superhero, Phoenix, is that the best way that you can serve your community? I'm done. Uh, yeah, actually, I believe being a superhero <laughs> is the best way I could serve my community. And uh, I wanted to ask, uh, well, I wanted to just say, one of the things that you said is that the DA needs to charge me based on the fact that other people might run around and do this recklessly. Um, I'm not doing it recklessly, and we should look at the facts of my case. And the facts of my case are that the police report does not match the video. Uh, the evidence doesn't show that I excessively pepper sprayed anyone. And uh, I haven't done any crime. So I really appreciate your stance, though. Thanks. Amen to that. <laughs> Thanks. Well okay, done. Okay, Jonna, would you like to rehabilitate your client who probably needs no rehabilitation? <laughs> he doesn't need to thank you very much for your, your defense of me. And I also <laughs> wanted to point out that, you know, if I feel like someone's in danger, I, I know there has to be a citizen's law out there that says that I can run in and help people. And I can help probably with equal escalation. And I didn't escalate the situation at all. If you watch, there was a bunch of people attacking one man, uh, mm -hmm. maybe another man, but it was at least six on two. Uh, there's no way to escalate that. That didn't escalate at all. And then after the event was over, they restarted a new event by attacking me a second time. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be charged with a crime. Um, and uh, the DA office really... Um, you know, they really don't have a case, I guess. And, and thanks for Ryan McNamee shooting the video. Phoenix, even though Phoenix. I prosecuted you, if I need you, please come to my rescue. <laughs> right. Phoenix, is it true that at the end of the court hearing yesterday, you tore off your dress shirt to reveal your signature black and green superhero costume? <laughs> Uh, it's black and gold. Yeah, I was wearing my super suit because this wasn't about uh, the guy under the mask. They were charging Phoenix Jones because I'm Phoenix Jones. If I was a regular person and I had just regularly pepper sprayed someone who was in a fight, they would have shook my hand and sent me away. So I wore the suit because that's what this was about. And I took my mask off because the person suffering for it is the person under the mask. So it was a, it was a double statement. Oh, good point. Love Final question. Got to go quickly. So uh, the question is, will you continue to patrol, Phoenix? <laughs> 
Absolutely. Saturday, 10 o'clock, first in Pike. I'm starting a patrol. Anyone can join me. I'll see you guys in the streets. All right. I want to tell our viewers, here's one email. Roger says, we need this guy. God bless Phoenix. We're 100% behind this hero. Phoenix Jones for Congress. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>